guys, so I was finally able to get out. Uh, it hasn't been easy for the last weeks because, uh, among other things, we don't have a car yet. So I'm using this one. It's a little car, but it works. This is uh, my parents. So that's what I'm using today. And I came here to this place, not this place, but this uh, canyon. It's called a uh, Seal Canyon. The, the river is Seal. Uh, yeah, this is pretty close to where I live now. It's some 20, 25 minutes away. So I, I think I'm going to be here pretty often. But uh, yeah, I've been here plenty of times in the past. But of course, I've never looked at it from a photography a photographic perspective. So I know some uh, viewpoints, but I don't remember them too much. Uh, I believe there are trails around here too that I can take. I know, we'll see. But uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out today. This is my first time exploring this for real and yeah this is a random viewpoint i found on the side of the road i just stopped here and i'm gonna check it out One thing about this place is that it's uh, in the wrong time zone. It's 7 p.m. right now. The light is not good at all because there are still almost three hours till sunset. Sunset is at 9.52 p.m. And that is crazy because it's still May. These are going to get longer. So sunset at the end of June is going to be around 10.30 and that is crazy because it's, gonna, it's not going to be completely dark until 11.30 or something like that. Even though the light is not the best right now, I'm gonna get my camera from the car because I think I saw one, potentially two good compositions for a black and white photo. We'll see. Of course, I'm going for an exposure here. Uh, so I'll show you the, the result later. I don't know if it's gonna work, but what I'm trying to do here is to split the frame, the sky taking the, the upper part and the, the canyon, the, the lower part. Uh, what I did is uh, I exposed for the sky because I want the, 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 sides, the sides of the canyon or the cliffs or whatever you want to call them like almost not black but pretty dark and I want the, the river to actually uh, stand out uh, leading towards the, the sky that hopefully this is going to be a three minute exposure is going to be um, a little bit blurry or uh, showing a little bit of uh, movement the, the the clouds 45 seconds left in the composer and i hope it works To look at that phone on the computer it looks okay on the screen of the camera but i think i can work on it and make it look a little bit better we'll see but as you can see now i have the 70 to 200 uh, on the camera i had to rush it uh, because i saw a composition down there while i was recording b-roll it's that road down there and that's the good thing about making youtube videos at the same time that you take photos it might it might seem like it could be distracting at first and I guess sometimes it is, but most of the time it helps me. It helps me to stay creative for, for longer, I know, because I have to think the whole time about creating either video, either a photo. So I think that at the, at the very end it helps me. I, like in this case, I wouldn't be looking or uh, paying attention down there. I would be just paying attention to the photo I was taking, I guess. But, but, but that's me. Anyway, the reason why I had to rush it is because there was some light coming from the other side, hitting that side of the of the canyon but now it's gone so i'm waiting here a little bit uh, there are big clouds so i don't know how long it's gonna be but i think it's worth it i'm gonna wait just a little bit and see if i can get that shot so of course i just packed all my gear and the sun is uh, peeking out now 
but uh, that's gonna be okay. Today was supposed to be a day of exploring, not a day of uh, being here for for the whole day in this viewpoint. Uh, I waited for half an hour. I'm not gonna wait any longer. And, you know, I actually took uh, a couple shots of that composition. Uh, I didn't get the light, but at least I got the second best thing, that is uh, a car. There are like a hundred different viewpoints in this uh, canyon. All of the viewpoints on this side of the of the canyon are like, as I said, 25 minutes away from, from where I live now, half an hour at most. But the ones on the other side, since you have to actually uh, cross to the other side and go take like not very good roads. I mean, they are fine. There are no potholes or anything like that, but they are very windy. And it takes a long time to drive them. Uh, so yeah, the viewpoints that are on the other side, it takes like an hour. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm gonna go to a viewpoint uh, that is 48 minutes from here, an hour and 20 from where I live. It's supposed to be a cool one. We'll see about that. Uh, and tomorrow for sunrise, I might, if I can wake up on time, uh, come back here to this side of the canyon since it's 20, 25 minutes and just photograph uh, another viewpoint that uh, I have uh, on my list from this side. So this was a big, big fail. I I saw the sky kind of exploding on the other side of this little town, and I was trying to get to a viewpoint or somewhere uh, around here, but the streets here are narrow, not the next. And yeah, uh, I almost get trapped there, uh, but I'm out now, so I'm just gonna keep going. And see if I can find maybe uh, right onto Avenida Arantz, OU Arantz. this uh, Google Maps is going crazy with the Spanish names Okay, so this is a beautiful sunset right here. Plain, of course, now that I'm talking. Yeah, the sky is going crazy there. I was hoping that that light would happen there on the other side of the cliff, but I still got some color, but not a lot. As I said, the, the sky is very beautiful there, but there is not much I can take in the photo and a beautiful color in the sky doesn't always make for a good photo this is just the sky the mountains are, are not that big so it's uh i don't know the horizon doesn't have any interest either so it could be a boring photo i can only wait here to just in case the sky still decides to open a little bit there but i don't think that's gonna happen still 
I, I got a few shots uh, because I didn't know when the light was going to be the best. Another thing that I wanted to mention now, uh, I'll be talking about this more in a separate video, but although I always say that I, I will and I never do talk about gear, but uh, uh, I have a new tripod too for the same reason that I mentioned because why I bought the lenses because it was much cheaper there in the States than here and my old tripod was all, all uh, broken so I decided to, to buy a new tripod this is an awesome tripod so far another thing that I decided to purchase there too it was the uh, neutral density grad filters I never used them before and it's not something that I use with uh, black and white photography but with color like in this case yes uh, they are necessary unless uh, you want to uh, bracket your shots and but I prefer to do it on camera ah, such a bummer because I mean it was a beautiful beautiful sunset don't get me wrong and I I really enjoyed being here but uh, it had the potential of being a superb photo and it's gonna be just a good photo I believe we'll see maybe I'm wrong I hope so oh another thing I don't know if you see it there but there is a little church there let me show you There you go. That looks like a, uh, I made an image of that church too. I don't know if that's gonna be any good, but uh, it's pretty cool because it's next to the cliff and they were uh, uh, doing the bell thingy. Uh, I guess it was uh, for dinner time. Anyway, pretty cool. This, uh, this place is pretty cool. And this, um, I found a trail that starts here and it goes to another church on this side of the river. So that's something I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. But yeah, I think this is it for tonight. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first outing in Spain. I'm really glad that I got to get out again. Uh, yeah, many, many, many more soon. Actually, tomorrow in the morning. So see you then.